A 45-ton hydraulic telescoping crane was being used to move several loads, weighing more than two tons each. The crane has a multi-part main line and a single-part auxiliary line. The crane operator had experience operating other cranes, but had no training on this specific model crane. Before beginning, he asked other crane operators how certain controls worked. He did not understand their instructions. He practiced raising and lowering the main hook and extended and retracted the boom for 15 minutes. During this time, alarms were ringing in the cab that the crane operator did not understand. He was eventually able to shut them off along with the anti-two-block system on the computer. A rigger was positioned near the first load to connect the crane's hook. He was inexperienced and undergoing his second day of training. The crane operator extended the boom to put the hook over the load. The lengthened boom put the auxiliary hook and line in a two-blocked condition. As the boom extended, the auxiliary line came under increased tension. The rigger noticed a cotter pin fly off. He looked up, saw the boom wiggle, and turned to run. The rigger was struck and killed instantly by the falling auxiliary hook. The crane operator used equipment that he was not trained to operate. Safety and warning devices were turned off or disabled during operations. Personnel must never work under the boom, hook, or loads. Although not contributing to the fatality, workers working near the water's edge must wear personal flotation devices or PFDs.